Oh no, it's lagging. Yeah, I can hear you now. Is it is it lagging? Nah, it ain't lagging. Somebody had called. What's up? What's going? What's going down, Zed? How are you? Oh, it's yeah. been almost a year. I, I watched our last interview the other day, and I was like, it's been almost a year, bud. And look at you, man. We we already knew this was gonna happen, but now I this is one of my favorite interviews too. One of my favorites too, for real, because you kept it real with us. You were so genuine, and like we believed in you, man. And now look at you. So we super proud of you. Everybody in H Town, like now you putting on for the city. Like people talk about bloodbath, like one of the hottest in H Town. Yeah, man, it's going down, man. We going up all the way. You know, I got the city on my back. Yes, for sure. How have you been at the crib too? <laughs> you know, I, I've been in the crib for a minute already. As it is, so you know what I'm saying. I, I've been doing well on quarantine, eating good, playing GTA. You know, what yeah, I'm saying? yeah, yeah, yeah. Record, what? I got here too, so I've been recording everything. Got new music coming, so you know, you gotta give us a little sample of something. But, blood, how's your family and everything, too? It, oh, everybody good, everybody will take care of everybody chilling. We just trying to get through this pandemic like everybody is. How's your granny? Granny, uh, she don't do that. I just got her like an hour ago. She didn't put, she didn't put it up on me. Does Granny finally believe you now? You saying I have to be telling like yes. Granny, I'm popping, I'm popping. Now she feels. Hey man, she's seeing for herself all the articles and everything on like she's seeing it. So she's seeing it on the phone, so she finally believed me. Now she always believed in me, but when I used to be telling her, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, she was like, all right, <laughs> good to see. It. Yes, and we got to talk about your deal and everything, blood. We got so many things to talk about, but I just wanted to start about the fact that I was watching Insecure the other day. And do you watch Insecure? Yeah. Did you see when they had the food fest? No, nah, I didn't see. I haven't seen. It's a new episode. It's a new season. A new? What? what, what? You done missed five episodes this season. I haven't even seen. I got to tune in. See, I use it. What, uh, what else do come on besides, like, what channel you watching on? HBO. I don't think I don't Don't it come on, like, Hulu or Netflix or something? Uh, just HBO. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't seen a new season, and I'm sleep on a new season. Somebody got to get you to log in. But the reason yeah, why I brought it up. I need somebody to log in, man. Somebody said, drop, drop, slide into Bless DM, send a log in. But full festivals are Hulu. See, somebody said Hulu. I told you. I, yeah, I'll be watching. Well, it's, if you pay for HBO through Hulu, though, I ain't got all that money, blood. I ain't, I ain't popping like you. We had the same last year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They say, yeah. Let me start reading this, man. But now, nah, yeah, full festivals on the way. As soon as the pandemic over, I don't want to be putting everybody in the same pot, uh, spot, you know what I'm saying, right. around talking and all this. So. I'm just gonna be patient on that, but soon as all this Corona stuff is over with, food festival coming ASAP. We're gonna do the what is this the third annual in Houston? We didn't have Dallas and one in Austin. We're gonna do the third annual in Houston and start traveling again. Hopefully Atlanta, LA, something like that. Whatever, whatever is open at the time. Amazing! It's always good to see you doing good things, especially for the city and blood. Okay, so I had seen you posted the picture before with Beyonce. So I was like, okay, blood, I already know you connected. But then I saw her, what was it? I think it was just last week when uh, um, she put your song on the title playlist. I was like, man, hold up, hold up. Yeah. What, are y'all related, blood? What's going on? So, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just, uh, my family having to know her, 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 a lot of her family, you know what I'm saying? But aside from that, when I seen myself on the playlist, it was shocking. Everybody was sending it to me because it was in the middle of the night. It, you know, it dropped at 12. So in the middle of the night, everybody kept sending it to me. My biggest thing that was going through my mind was like, all right, does she listen to it while she working? I right, do she listen to it while she cooking? So it's hard. Like, I just know, like, when did you stop and say, oh, I'm about to check out all these blood baths? And like, when did you listen to it? Like, but it was, you know, and it's a, it was a good feeling to be recognized by somebody. By Beyonce, the queen of H Town. Like, I, I don't even yeah. know if I said that, but for anybody who missed it, it was Beyonce playlist, y'all. Yes. Yeah, did you know that. she was going to put you on it? Huh? Did she know that? I mean, did you know that she was going to put you I, on it? Oh, no I did. I don't think anybody knew my label. Nobody really knew that I was being put on there. So, like, it, was, it wasn't no, oh, I'm signed now. Nah, she put it's me on it. It's a genuine co sign. That was her own thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, it's a blessing just to know somebody. But that statue is even paying attention to me. It just get it just motivated me a lot to want to keep working hard, you know. Yes, amazing, blood, amazing. You've been working. I know you've been doing some a whole bunch of music and stuff. And what I love about you, blood, too, is the last time we talked, you was like, I love to sing too, <laughs> not just rap. So you still doing a singing vibe too? Yeah, I'm still doing I like I got a lot of new music on the way, man. Like oh. you know what I'm saying? I look and it's just it's to me, I like stuff that challenges me. See, like rapping, I'm so used to rapping, I've been doing it for so long. It's, it's easy. I like I like stuff to chat. So 
You know what I'm saying? I've been working hard on the little singing. Y'all stay tuned. I got some heat coming soon, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I am I'm predicting it right now, blood. I'm calling it. Somehow, some way, you and Summer, y'all same label now. You and Summer yeah. got the link up. You did the cover already. It was popping. I'm gonna put that in the universe for I you right know. now. My favorite R and B artist, aside from being size the same label, she just hard. You know what I'm saying? Like Yeah, Summer is one of the dopest R and B chicks out. Hard, so hopefully, you know what I'm saying? It, it's on the way. So also the last time I talked to you, you said you had turned down a million dollar deal. You said, you know, Meek was talking to you and stuff. So now you finally secured the deal, blood. What was it that, you know, locked you in with Interscope? And it's also, it's a collab between uh, LVR. Two. Go ahead, go ahead. Two and LVR, yeah. Basically, um, like I said, like I've been saying all for, since <laughs> I signed, because a lot of people say, like, oh, you signed that and they eager to sign something. Hey man, it gotta be a perfect situation. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to have entertainment lawyers. You have to have like, like just people around you that give good advice and all this. Not right. That's not right. Take your time. If anybody put a piece of paper in front of you, make sure you take your time with it and don't rush to sign it. So you won't be in a bind in a bad situation or anything. It got to be the right situation. So, um, 1022 LVRN, they work perfect with their artists. Like they give artists a lot of creativity. They easy to like communicate with and they, they just understand like a lot of labels just don't understand they got they got a picture painting their head of what they want you to be and nice. lvrn and 1022 is the complete opposite of that whatever you are already they just want to fuel that and, and put more power into that instead of just oh we're gonna change this about you and change that so that's one of the main reasons why i really like both of the companies you know what i'm saying so yeah that's you know. real shout out to brian ngo everybody in the scope all of them and also i was wondering um, yeah. Why is it called 1022? I didn't know it was blood. I was like, I'm going to ask blood. She got to yeah, know. I know why it's called 1022, man, but that's just the game, man. That's what's going on. Well, I'm going to find out. We're going we gonna to be plugged in. We're going to figure all that out. Hmm? You got to do a little research. I'm a, I, I did, blood. I did research. I looked. I ain't see it nowhere. See, you look. We both got to do our research. Here we go, TV. Look, you've been going wild on Instagram. I'm sorry, so y'all stay tuned. Yes, and you've been going wild on Instagram, Club BB. I see your twerk contest, blood. <laughs> hey, man, I don't know why the like to turn up for me, man, but I appreciate all you beautiful women that tune in to Club BB and turn up, man. Y'all make my quarantine easy, peace. Exactly what I was going to say. That's how you've been staying busy during the quarantine, blood. That's the right way. And yeah, speaking man. of, go ahead, go ahead. I've just been working and, you know what I'm saying, and entertaining the people. That's what I'm here for, you know what I'm saying? So You do that. You definitely do that. And um, I saw on Instagram today, Blood, your story was entertaining me every day. I promise, <laughs> if y'all don't watch Blood's lives, y'all need to make sure you follow her right there. I got the comment pin right there. OMB Blood, that follow her. Her lives is lit, everything. So today's question, I wanted to bring this one up so I can see what your what your consensus was. Um, I you think asked you put, crazy questions, Jay, so I got to get ready. <laughs> <laughs> no, this was your question I saw on Instagram. You asked, uh, what, what was it today? You were like, w do you make somebody wait or do you smash on the first date? That's what blood is. It's your question. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to know, like, do they do they make somebody wait or do they have sex on the first day? I want to know why because I feel like say if a girl make you wait three months, six months, and you get it and it's trash, like, what's the point of making you wait? Like, I don't know why people think they want to go to do. Hey, look, man, if you're going to do it later on anyway, you might as well do it as soon as you meet so you know what you get yourself into. I feel that, but at the same time, I feel like if you rocking with somebody for three months, you probably like, you know, you're starting to like them. So if it's even if it's trash the first time, if you really wouldn't you just keep trying just to ooh, uh, cut off. I could wait, I could wait a month, and if I get it as trash, I'm cutting out. Immediately. Come on, blood. Come on. Immediately, because I'm not finna sit here and have to coach you about nothing. You better know what's going down before I <laughs> But I'm experienced, so you better be experienced. You know what I'm saying? So man, well, okay. So you uh you said you said on there too that you scared of relationships. Why? Man, because relationships are dangerous, man. Why? Like <laughs> hey, look, you ever seen Thin Line Between Love and Hate? Come on, that's the only movie that that's the that movie that makes you think of love, blood, and relationships. I think line between love and hate. Get involved, people do crazy things, so I'm trying to stay far away from it, man. Hopefully one day I'll find somebody that makes me want to be in a relationship. But right now, I'm scared out of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool on all it. I'm a, I, I have different reasons, but I feel like you're in your bag right now. You focus. You you know your career is you out here. You doing it, so you don't even need to worry about that right now. I ain't got to worry about that, Lee, but you know what I'm saying. I got me a little shouting to keep me company. Oh, I know they're coming through during the quarantine. I appreciate all my little shouts out there rocking with me. 
Uh, you don't even make them wear a mask, blood? Huh? You don't make them wear a mask or nothing? I got an own mask, so yeah. Everybody, <laughs> everybody wear this drop-out mask, you know what I'm saying? I need to get a drop-out mask, okay? I got to get one, too. Yeah, we're going to get one to everybody else that matter of fact. I see you, I see you. And also, too, uh, the last time I hit you up, I was with Rhapsody. I had interviewed Rhapsody, and she was talking about, you know, like, I love the way, also, every time I could talk to you, you always putting on for other artists, other ladies in the industry. It's so dope. And she was like, I really want to work with Blood. Like, here in H-Town, you know, I'm trying to link up with Blood. Rhapsody did people, man. She, uh... She actually one of the first people that put academics in them on me, but like you know, they just posted me recently. But yeah, uh, interview with them, and she shot me out and a couple of other artists. Like, you know, what I'm saying, shot the rest of she a real one because everybody don't do that when they, you know, what I'm saying, when they, yeah. when they, let, they don't really do stuff like this. So, shot the rest of because they was real, you know, what I'm saying, that's real. You got any other artists, any other girls, particularly, or any anybody in out of H Town or all right, my artists are girls that I miss. Well, I think I didn't say that I read on the um. You feel me? Uh, Millie Book. Yeah, she hard. Uh, Millie Book hard. Libra Jolie, Kenny Man, who else hard? Girl, that's the game. That's the game, for sure. That's the game. Uh, who else hard? I don't want to forget nobody, because, you see. Yeah, I'm going to live my, that's my top three right now, you know what I'm saying? But then, as far as you got, um, Guapo himself, you got, um, Pro Yo, new artists, you got Loretta. Savage, Melo Mueller, um, who else we got? D Flowers, he going off. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a lot of people, man, I got to put y'all on, man. Y'all just, you know what I'm saying? I, I might do me a little list or something so I can put everybody on. Do it! You know we saying? need that. Oh, yeah. yeah. They, they said Fetty Knee, Fetty Knee hard. Y'all tap me on Fetty Knee too, you know what I'm saying? So, BG, BG New Money. It's a lot of artists, man, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just tap in, man. I need y'all to put me on everybody. Like we, we gotta make sure we put on for Houston first of all, especially and all the up and coming people. Nah, for sure. Oh yeah, Slum Boy Pooley. Yeah, man, they they look, they know who I. Oh, name. the comments lit. Yeah, the comments lit, man. Maxo, of course. So yeah, you and Maxo, the dropout man. What's up? So how did y'all? I mean, y'all already, y'all already lit for sure. The video <laughs> drop. Maxo, basically, like I'm a like family. You know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. uh, we we met up in Cali one day. He was at the studio. I came to rock with him. We really was just chilling, and he was like, hey, man, get on this beat, you know what I'm saying? So I got on there, we went back and forth, back and forth, and it was history ever since then. Like, we've been holding on to that song for a minute before we dropped it, but it's finally out, and it's just doing some stupid numbers, you know what I'm saying? So y'all take me to my box of Dropout featuring me and Maxo Cream, you know what I'm saying? Make sure I watch the video, and we're dropping it tonight, 9 o'clock. Uh, oh, I already know. I got you. Make sure everybody tag us, everything, because dropping at 9 o'clock is going to be lit. Hey, y'all heard what she said, 9 o'clock, they dropping the, drop the song on stage. 979 in the box, y'all tap in. 979, y'all tag me and tag 979, man, it's going down. Yes. I, I, I can listen to it on the app, because I don't got no radio on here. Yeah, listen to it on the app, on your phone, or you can just go to theboxhouston.com slash listen live. I'm going to hook you up. I'm you heard you. what she said, say it one more time, you said it fast. The so, look, <laughs> yeah, I got them bars too, blood. So, look, 979, the app. Or y'all just go to theboxhouston.com and then they have like a listen live thing like on the right side and you just click it and you're good. Yeah, click that motherfucking tap in. Nine o'clock tonight. New blood nah. and Maxo. I can't nah. wait. And before, before I let you go though, it's my last question. You know I couldn't forget blood. Last time you said <laughs> it was the age limit on the booty eating, okay? You said. <laughs> I still feel the same. I have not eaten no ass and I will not eat no ass. Blood. Come, you I'm scared of, what about booty crumbs? What about booty crumbs, I'm done, I'm done. You know, blood, I'm done. Dingleberries, uh, motherfucking, um. Dingleberries, uh, sneak, see, see, see. Oh, oh, oh. I, I, I didn't drop the phone and everything, blood, but I'm, I'm saying you got to make sure, you know, you got to. Dingleberries, <laughs> booty crumbs, and skid marks, Jay. I'm done with you, blood. I'm done, I'm done with you, blood. Look, here's your, uh, look, we go back. Nah, for real. Hey, what Kenny Lou at? He up there somewhere with the scooter. Right. Let me see. Let me you got see. everybody on the wall. Yeah, I got everybody. Damn, I can't really. It's, it's crazy. But. Yeah. On that pole. All right, next time I come up there, I'm going to make sure I take a picture with it, man. But yeah, now nah, we go back, and I appreciate everybody sitting on the box. Because one thing I can say about y'all, they can say radios don't support it. He's all underground. Y'all been supporting me since day one. And from you to J Mac, Hatter, Rob G. All y'all been showing me love. Eric, so everybody, all y'all been showing me 
all y'all be showing me love, man. I really appreciate it. And we're gonna take this as far as it can go. I promise. I'm gonna see it, man. Y'all just stay tuned. That's love. We appreciate you so much, but and I want to say I'm so effing proud of your ass because you was on time. I'm about to yeah. call J Mac Reed right now and be like, "Blood was on time, not a minute late." So you doing it, Blood? You up there? You on? We're so proud of you. Do your thing. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Y'all rock out. Drop out out now. Link in my bio. Ends gonna be on the box tonight. Nine o'clock. Picture makes her cream. It's love. I love y'all, Houston. Bye, right. Blood. Bye.